treatment of addiction over the years has been taking insights of medicine, psychology and religion. But the blend of all these three were found in the ancient science of yoga. And the way Guruji B.K. Sayangar presented this to the world attracted my attention as a priest and as a very special sadhaka, a disciple of Mother Teresa. I saw Mother Teresa teaching us to reach out to the poorest of the poor. And here I was practicing Ayengar Yoga amidst all suffering addicts, alcoholics and addiction related ailments such as HIV AIDS. To cope with this challenge, I felt Guruji gave me the same compassion that Mother Teresa offered to the world. Guruji trained us to reach out to the poorest of the poor in health. And here there were people who had lost everything and mainly their health and they had destroyed the temple which is their body. And so to love this body back to life, Guruji brought about a unique understanding and practice of Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, ancient teaching, but he designed it as a scientist, as an artist and as a philosopher. He gave us the rational to rebuild a human being, put new spirit in them, to love their inner true identity. Like Socrates, Guruji would always say that the end of yoga has to make a person know thyself. And this message was practiced by a study of one's own body from the periphery to the center. Ayangar Yoga, unlike many forms of yoga that are taught all over the world, for addiction has become not a workout, but a work in from the periphery to the center from the sympathetic nervous system to the central nervous system via the autonomous nervous system. This brings about a sense of oneness. That's what yoga is. Oneness with the originating principle. People call it God. Here it is their true self. And once they encounter that true self, then they no more need to turn to any kind of chemicals. The thirst for God is so vital. It was St. Augustine who said that our hearts are made for you, O Lord, and they are restless till they rest in you. This thirst is felt in every addict. An addict is a person thirsting for love, for God, for truth, for peace. But as Carl Gustav Jung said, this thirst is satanically imploded in a thirst for self-gratification and therefore through yoga Guruji has shown us how to reverse this thirst. All the other therapies are something that is done to a person from outside whereas in Ayangar Yoga it is something that is done to the personality from within. It is not a workout but it's a work in and this journey is truly a sadhana, a way to God. When you find yourself, you find God. Again, St. Augustine said, Nowhere in me, ut nowhere in te. Lord, help me to know myself so that I may know you. And Guruji's ultimate advice and teaching to an addict is, if you come to know yourself, you will discover how beautiful you are. You are good because you are not your body. You are not your breath. You are not all your preoccupations, no matter how sublime or how absurd they may be. You are beyond all that. You are loved. When an addict feels loved, the first time God has loved us, then he loved us into life. And now the addict through yoga begins to feel that he is loved into new life. And that is recovery. In the words of Einstein, when we become one with the universe, the whole universe becomes friendly with us. And then we can say 
यो मा पश्यति सर्वत्र सर्वंच मई पश्यति तस्याहम न प्रणश्यामी सच मेव न प्रणश्यति ही हु सीज मी इन एवरी क्रीचर सीज एवरी क्रीचर रिफ्लेक्टिंग मी सच अ पर्सन आई नेवर अबैंडन नाइदर डस सच अ पर्सन अबैंडन मी दैट इज द अल्टीमेट हीलिंग ऑफ एडिक्शन 